everybody. I'm Larry Ridley, and this is the NFL on EA Sports. The stakes have been raised here in the wild card round as it's time to win or get an early start on the offseason. So let's go now to Denver, Colorado, where Jim and Phil are on the call. The playoffs have arrived, and that means it's wild card weekend in the NFL here on EA Sports. Hello, friends, and welcome to Wild Card Weekend around the National Football League. We've got a pair of divisional winners and a pair of wild card teams, and it's postseason time, the most exciting time of the year, Phil. Yeah, we think the regular season is pretty exciting. We say it every year, but then it comes playoff time, and we go, wow, this is even more exciting. For these football teams today, don't try to be too creative. Don't reinvent yourself. Do what got you here to the playoffs. And, of course, the team that can do that without turning it over is going to be the team that's going to win this game today. Will go ground. Goes to the left. That's a gain of six. Wide open for the catch. Welkers tackled down at the 45. Ball lines up in the backfield. Second down and five. Taking it up the middle. Taking off. It didn't take long, but they're already in scoring territory inside the red zone. Yeah, they're making it look easy, aren't they, so far? But you've got to be alert on the defensive side right now because this offense loves to go for the touchdown once they get into the red zone. Tight end in motion from the gun, Flacco. Throws the pass. And this pass goes incomplete as he was looking short that time. Manning's setting up now in the pistol. Second down and 10. Manning's got the football after the play pick. And at the 37, he'll be brought down. Third and a long way to go. Looking to the right side and throwing. Pass is intercepted. Going to take it the distance. The 20, the 10. Nice tackle. Good job that time by the defense. Not being fooled. Being in position. When you're in position, you have a chance to make the play. That time they did. They got the interception. job there by the offense third and goal and what do they do they run the football against the defense and nice job getting the touchdown balls lined up as the single back throw to the left interception space to work touchdown Ravens You gotta love that from your defense. They take a chance, they get the interception. Not only do they do that, they return it a long way for the touchdown. They're setting up screen. Spins away from the tackle. There's no doubt time of possession can be an overrated stat in games many times. But one thing you want to do, throw and catch it just like this to pick up those first downs and keep it going. Manning sends it to Welker. Stayed in there that time, took the hit, but still was able to make the play. Jim, you're right. Good job by the QB, and you're going to have to do this three or four times a game. Uh, the protection cannot always be perfect. He stands in there, gets hit, but still throws the football right on target. Still got it after the play action. Thomas got it on a pass, had some heat on it. 
Dean Danny knows when to call the play action pass number. He does it this time. It works. Good call by Peyton Danny. It's working so well, throwing the football outside that, hey, you, as long as you get the job done, that's all that matters. The Broncos trail right now, but you can't blame the running game. So that's going to do it for the first half. Ravens are up here in this one. All right, welcome to the Verizon Halftime Report. I'm Larry Ridley. Let's take a look back now at the first half. The Broncos are winning the turnover battle, but don't have clear control. The Ravens still are right in this elimination game, and if they clean up the turnovers, they could win. All right, let's get straight to it. Here's some highlights from the first half. They take it at the 33-yard line. Manning's throw under pressure leads to the turnover. It's Elam making the play to get his defense off the field. Now following the interception, Rice is going to look for a gap, and he'll end up sprinting into the end zone. They're now on top by four. Late in the first quarter, here the defense will come up with the pick. Stewart's going to run it back for the touchdown. Ravens go up by 11. We go now to early in the second. Flacco's going to complete the pass, and he won't be brought down until he makes it to the 38-yard line. So that's going to do it for us. We'll send you back now to field level for some more playoff football. Going deep. Looking for Demarius Thomas. Intercepted. The tackle is made. Nice job of the defense that time. In position, they read the quarterback's eyes, and it led to an interception. On this passing down, the defense comes out in the nickel. Flacco will take it from the gun. Complete to Jones. Well, the defense, they give up a first down there. They're behind. They just can't sit back there and keep bending. You got to take some chances. Go on the offensive, on the defensive side. Ray Rice lined up in the backfield. Quick drop back. Smith's got it. First down. Now they take the football onto the opponent's side of the field. And Rice is lined up in a single back formation. And now on first down, they'll go back to the air. And ball. Miller has him behind the line of scrimmage. From the shotgun. And he's tackled down after picking up the first. From the gun, Flacco. Torrey Smith with the catch. Games 18. Good job getting the first down by the offense. And look at the defensive players on the sideline cheering their teammates on. Third and goal from the seventh. That ball has been picked off. Breaks unstoppable. He's at the 50, the 40, the 30, the 20, the 10. Touchdown. And this game just got a whole lot more interesting. Well, the quarterback was under pressure. He could not see the defender. The defender in the right spot makes the catch and takes it back for a touchdown. The Broncos line up in the pistol. Quick screen to Sanders. Ball is out. And the recovery is made by the defense. And he's brought to the ground. Well, that time the offense fumbles the football, but the defense hit them so hard, uh, there's no chance of hanging on. Hits the ground, and the defense recovers. They bring in the extra Let's tight go. end. They'll hike it to him out of the shotgun. Has Thomas. He stacked up at that point. First down here after the completion. After the long game, let's see what they do here. Out of the shotgun. Throw to the left, and he hauls it in. What's in front of you, the quarterback will take care of that. 
Let's get the injury report from Danielle Bellini. Guys, I had a chance to speak with a Broncos team official. Peyton Manning's injury seems to be relatively minor, or at least it's minor enough that he'll be back on the field shortly. It's a two-tight end formation. Second down and seven. Screen has his man. Spins out of the defender's clutches. This quarterback is one of the best game managers in the league. He never forces the issue. That time, nobody opened deep down the field. He gets the short completion, and now he has a third and manageable situation to deal with. They complete the pass, but still not enough for the first. Third down coming up. Peyton Manning under center. Ball's going to take the handoff now. Tackles made. Flacco from the shotgun. And he's thrown to the ground. I don't know who to blame here. We'll take it from the gun. Over to Pitta. There's the offense picking up another first down on third down. Pitta has been the go-to tight end today, Phil, and really getting it done. That long gain sets them up here on this play. Flacco's going to take it from the gun. And Vaughn Miller has him behind the line of scrimmage. Jones lined up now as a slot receiver. They failed to convert, and now a change of possession. What a surprising move that time by the coach. It's fourth and long. You got a close game here, and you go for it, and you fail. I don't know why you would take that chance so early. Fifteen yards. Flacco's back in shotgun formation. Trying to work that left side. And he's tackled down at the 36-yard line. The Ravens head to the line. They've got one timeout left. The Ravens have it at the 44. Well, we'll be switching sides with this one. Ball's going the other way. The Ravens had no choice. They had to go for it, but failed to pick up the first. Yeah, they did. You're right, Jim. They had to go for it. They, I think they gave themselves a good chance here with the play call with the players. Sometimes the players just don't execute. First down at the 50. Here's the handoff. Trying to find an opening to the right. And he's able to get out to the 34-yard line. To an end, we've got one team with its season extended onto the divisionals and the other one heading home after a disappointing loss. Well, the postseason will march on next week with the divisional round, and it's always sweet to pick up a victory in the postseason. Here, a wild card victory today. Nothing like it to verify all the hard work you put in during the regular season, and then to back it up with a wild card win. That is, uh, hey, good stuff. What a memorable game this truly was. For Phil Sims, Danielle Bellini, and Larry Ridley, Jim Nance saying so long for now, and we leave you with the GMC Never Say Never moment of the game.